what it means most is the people who are at the stadium at home just put a smile on their face those are the words of dr kumalo after chiefs were knocked out of emtn8 by amazon hello and welcome to Coast nation fan tv i am Bilo. i am your host this is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs Football Club. And in today's video, I want us to talk about the other issue that people are not talking about because mainly after Chiefs were knocked out of EM108, the focus seems to be at sex, Zwane. Zwane sucks. We need another coach, whatever, whatever. But the thing is, we can have another video, which I will have, about Zwane specifically and his role in this. But for now, we need to talk about the other issue that we seem to be overlooking. Well, some people are overlooking. I am certainly not overlooking it. And some people in the comment section have made it clear, Uguti. We see what is happening specifically with our players. Now, yesterday I talked about how Chiefs has not done a good job in recruiting the best players for the team. But I did not talk about the players themselves. Now, you can talk about... A team like Iceland back in 2018 Google Cup, 2016 Igma Euros, that team did not have star players. That team just had normal players who are playing in Iceland, who are playing for Switzerland, who are playing in leagues that are not like the elite, like which they play in the Premier League or they play in La Liga or they play what's another league. Bundesliga because it's just German, it's just Bayern dominating. But it's players who were just there presenting their country, who were fighting to death, who were passionate about what they were doing. And have you seen how our players play right now? Have you seen how, how our players carry themselves? You are one one it row that you are playing against is an e -E -E Amazulu, and we don't see you trying everything that you have to try by all means necessary to win the game. I'm not talking about how good you are, I'm talking about effort. I'm talking about showing the hunger. I'm talking about showing intensity in your play. I'm talking about seeing my emotions in a player who would I want to win this game. Sometimes there are players that are hated and sometimes I have a problem with players who seem like they always want to fight. But players like that sometimes are doing those things out of the love for the club, out of the love for the game. Players who will never, ever let a man go past them. Example was Ukatsandu. Ukatsandu, we know Ukatsandu was not like the greatest players. Ube sends out his pantsak. Shy tackle, we are winning tackle. Luckily enough, we have a person like Uplum who's doing the same thing. We have Utove who fights for the team. And he's the recent addition. If I look around elsewhere, Uguti, which other player shows that level of determination, shows that level of hunger, shows that level of focus and Uguti, I want this. I want it with everything that I have. And I would be so angry, disappointed if this does not work because I know, as Dr. Kumalo said, Uguti, the people who are at home are watching me with the expectation, Uguti, I have to win. The sky is blue. The grass is green. Kaiser Chiefs is the biggest club in SA. Those are things that are obvious. And with great responsibility, with great power comes great responsibility. With playing for a Kaiser Chiefs comes great expectation. The hunger that you showed playing for another team example format the hunger that you show playing for a cocoon is different from the hunger that you show from each chiefs there's a quote that says what got you here won't get you there if we book level five there's gonna be a different challenge which means you must take it up a notch you are representing people who are going from all the way 
they work hard that's their money they put in to transport to food to buying tickets all those three things food it's not cheap my ticket but coco 80 rand if you're thinking 80 rand is nothing then my wife said that a child food good 80 rand is nothing transport petrol kupugile for people who drive to stadiums ngemali yabo to go and watch players not bothering to close down or keep or calm i'm not trying to single out players here i'm just saying out of all the players that have been playing in the past three four games the players that i've seen playing with real hunger and determination i can boil it down to bloom not of and it's no wonder why in the other games i think two games in a row utove got a man of the match and close after him kono bloom because they are the ones who are always showing what they want to play showing what they want to win and challenging and making everything they can to work hard and it makes sense for uplom because uplom ukulegui development it makes sense for utove this was like his chance to prove himself and now that he has proven himself and says we nearly scheme now he's not only just trying to win okap he's also trying to cement his place in that starting 11 because when he came where the center back was playing where Dushan had already started playing so yeah and he had to win a place in that team but the rest of the guys it doesn't seem like they are trying to show what they are hungry and they want to be part of the squad it's like they're just ah, okay i'm playing for chiefs anyway it doesn't matter whether i'm sitting in the bench the entire year and you're just okay with that you have a player like cristiano ronaldo at 37 by the way i'm not a fan of ronaldo but his hunger his desire to be the best and to always perform and give the best is what sometimes makes me appreciate him because you have a player who's natural like messi in my opinion better than ronaldo naturally but when it comes to hard work plus the little that ronaldo has he competes with umes and you have our players that we've already established good some of them are not measuring up to the standard playing as if bang umes and guabono mes at this point he can't afford to play like messi because he polalia evolve everyone needs to work hard everyone needs to mark aguku ukuthi singadlalisa istrike esohlala nje phambili singaphresi alindi ibhola maliza kuyi how are you going to win the ball back to start the attack if you are press because if you are press when phambili that means ibhola lizodlalwa nje through you to the mid to midfield and then uma forward and then it team idliwe ngenxa yokuthi wena you are not doing your job you are not pulling your weight so it's about the players as well it's about their mentality it's about Oguti. where are they what are they wanting to do for the team what are, what do they want to achieve for the team do they care about 40000 a stadium effort this thing this thing ngempela 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 ye effort ngeke bafethu silwe ayikhi into engxasula nje ngokubona a professional player ehlulwa ukutrap ibhol because awuyile groundini ukuyofunda ukutrap kanti practice eyani kanti wena wenza on monday to friday i wake up every day ngihamba nge english first ngiyofundisa and if i did not do anything well kwi lesson plan yam i have e into ebhala ukuthi okay things that i need to improve on and then i make a note of that if ngakubalanga pants i make a mental note i know in the next class ukuthi i will improve my presentation if my presentation wasn't good enough i will improve how to make students understand better maybe how i drill the concept into their heads or whatever but i make a note ukuthi this thing the mistake that i made today or whatever that i did today that did not work so well i shouldn't do it next time or i should improve it in this way every day i do that process when as a professional player ungitshela ukuthi uzothi ubona ukuthi uhluleka ukuphika sport every time you get the ball yet five games in a row uzolokuhluleka 
ukuphika isport noma usubheke neno keep ya ya ngangitsheli ngokuthi ikuhlukile uh, ipressure yokuthi udlala phambi kwabantu awudlala phambi kwabantu the thing is if you practice something long enough it eventually becomes your second nature you can do it noma sekunjani if you practice practice makes perfect otherwise why would we have players who sometimes show isn't or that are close to being perfect and then you wonder ukuthi bamthatha hapha nomdlali yes yes true i know what you're thinking some of you might be saying oh but no levendos by akeche sure but ngek levendos ki akeche consistently for five games in a row angaba ne game embi ebedayo but uzobuya in the following game a excel Haaland plays against liverpool by mbamba bamthulsa do he misses some chances following we ku score a brace that's what quality players do if they perform badly they go back they reflect they improve on that and that does not have to do actually with equality in terms of how good they are na ball but it reflects how good they are mentally a career ya bole but man it seems like abantu they don't want to perform not only for themselves but mainly for us because we are out here stressing about this team being affected by this team emotionally and in everything financially because people are spending money but abantu bahlulwa ku practice ku pass the ball professional player you getting paid ukuthi utrap ibhola ulipasela omunye umuntu uvula space ucela ibhola it's uzothi kimi ho easier said than done it's your job you signed up for it aksimini ngathamba odlala ibhola so then you can then just drag your legs and tell me it's easier said than done You wonder why our South African players are not overseas playing there. You wonder why they go for two seasons and then they struggle. Because they rely too much on I mean I'm to him because by us. And then they get to Europe. People who are already good enough are still working hard. Like think think of this There is a player by the name of Riyad Mahrez. He plays for Man City. Uhlale benchi njengamanje ku Man City. How is that even happening? How is that even happening? But there's someone who's doing the job better than him. There is a player who single handedly got Man City out of who got Aston Villa out of relegation who check relish. But we City kunye wa scheme. Nyiswa ingane ncane. Jeu Phil Foden. Mauta tuk Foden we abona ukuthi they are growing in their decision making they are growing in muscle they are growing in everything that they are doing because they know ukuthi this is my life and i have to win this game glo muntu. There is another argument ukuthi umathi was playing tired some of our players are tired and what not. As a bit tired nje akekho nomuntu who's competing with him also that scheme ngui akekho nomuntu oyi provide practice in ukuthi ngasithatha le scheme so kuzohlezwe ukurelaya kumathi noma ekhathela umathi uzodlaliswa because okay le badlaliswa belimele because there is no one who's putting in the effort there is no one who's putting in the work ejimini ukuze ezothatha scheme so kuqina kudlalisa abadlala abalimayele kuqina kudlalisa abadlala abakhathela Ngeke fethu ungitshele mina ukuthi nenza ama mistake awodwa season yonke and please vele nikhathale There's a story sa show Luka Modric ukuthi when he first signed for Real Madrid he went to a gym like an hour early trying to impress the coaches what my figure and then he found Ronaldo already there Imagine at the time Ronaldo was like there Ben Messi e win Messi kwinene kwinene Messi kwinene ipalondo best player in the world and yet lo muntu didn't carry ukuthi his star mentality ukuthi his star wayifika aqala kunabo bonke abantu egroundin to work harder 
to be at the highest level higher than everyone else Basic job and genes into that are not related to what they do in my crown team. You can tell good to these players, sometimes they struggle with the pressure because they read things that are said on social media. Why not stay away from social media? Especially right now. Team is not in a good place. You can tell me oh, good, oh, there are still people and they should have lives and stuff like that. But if the thing is affecting your mental health and because it's affecting your mental health, it's affecting your performances, then why would you expose yourself to something that's going to hurt your performance as a professional? Why would you go around fire and expect not to sweat? It doesn't make sense. If you go around fire, you'll sweat eventually. It just happens. They say if you hang around the the, the barber shop, you'll eventually get a haircut. You are a person. And even if you think you're ignoring it, they don't just go out. They stay there. And they come up at the wrong time. Because... You are busy thinking, what if I miss this, they will be on my case. And then you miss it, and then they are on your case. And then you go read to Goodbye Team. You have elite players who are staying away from social media because they know it's not good for them. And yet, you see our players being busy go TikTok, being busy interacting with people. And people, but negative foot about in any case, well. And when a valley you have a negative thing that's following you around, and when you decide to continue be on social media, it's an issue that needs to be addressed. Our players need to address that issue themselves because I get come to those about public social media. They have to decide and do it themselves. Otherwise, we will keep on seeing these players who are suffering and in all way in all the possible ways and they won't do and give us anything and then eventually their talent as good as they are ends up being thrown down the train basically thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next video and until next time remember ecos alpelumoy